Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe Photoshop CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to delete a frame animation and clear all of the frames from the timeline so you can start over and decide whether you wanna create a new frame animation or a new video animation. This is particularly helpful if you are a tutorial maker and you wanna show people how to create a new frame animation, but for whatever reason, you can't get rid of that first frame. So my goal is to delete or remove all of the visible frames in a frame animation timeline and then get back to this default timeline view. This is what you see when you first go to window timeline and you're able to choose whether you want to create a video timeline or a frame animation. So here are some of the ways that you've probably tried to delete all the frames. First, select all of the frames by clicking on frame number one, hold the shift key, click on the last frame so they're all selected. If you click on the trash can, you see it deletes everything, but it leaves frame number one. I'll press Command Z to undo. If I go to the hamburger menu, at the very top, you'll see there's a delete frames. If I click that, it's going to delete everything again, but leave the first frame. Undo. Now if I click the hamburger menu, you see there's an option for delete animation, which you would think would delete everything on the timeline. But when I click that, it does the exact same thing. It leaves frame number one. And even if I go to the top menu and click on window and close the timeline and then reopen it, that frame number one will just not go away. Here's the fix. To delete the timeline, when you are in a frame animation, so you can get back to the default timeline view. Click on the hamburger menu or the three horizontal lines in the top right of your timeline and select convert to video timeline. So this is gonna take the frame animation and convert it to a video timeline. Then go back to the hamburger menu and select delete timeline. Now you are back to the default timeline view when you first went to the window menu and selected timeline. So you can choose whether you wanna create a video timeline or a frame animation. It's one of many quirks in the Photoshop timeline, but if you're ever trying to delete or reset the timeline when you're in a frame animation, first convert it to a video timeline. Then once you have a video timeline, just go back to that hamburger menu and delete the timeline and that'll reset the timeline panel. And that is your quick tip in Adobe Photoshop CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.